Hey guys, welcome to Destinations A to Z. My name is Glenn Bailey, your host. This is where we do reviews of RV campgrounds, RVs, and such things that makes your RV lifestyle much better, including some places to eat and actually go enjoy uh, relaxing and utilizing all the eventual uh, tools and stuff of RVing. So let's get this video started. Remember, don't forget to like and subscribe to our videos. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today, yes, what I'm going to talk to you about is possibly saving you a possible trip to the hospital. Yes, that's correct. There's a possibility of having to go to a hospital due to a feature on this bike that's set incorrectly. What I want, want to refer to you is the seat. Yes, if you don't set your seat correctly to the correct height, according to the way it should be set, you could end up going to the hospital and end up having problems here, here in your knee, and in your ankle. So what I want to show you is how to get your seat set up correctly. And I'm going to show you a clip from my previous videos that shows where I had it set incorrectly. And now I've got it set correctly. So with that being said, let's get on and show you how to set it up. The very first thing you have to do is set your pedals to the six o'clock position on one side. Rotate it down as such. Then when you get on the e-bike, you can raise the seat up incrementally. Now this is going to seem odd and it's going to seem out of position and it's going to be, seem totally wrong. A friend of mine that is a avid bike rider told me I was doing it incorrectly. I changed it and my comfort level went up and now I don't get tired riding the e-bike no more. With that being said, I'm going to show you what I mean by that. The first image on the left, you can see the saddle height or the seat height is too low and your knee is over bent. With that being said, let's move on to the second image. The second image, the saddle height or seat height is too high. You can see the knee is locked and pretty much vertical. It's straight up and down. And then finally, the correct way to have your saddle or seat height set is with a slight bend in your knee just exactly like I was explaining. I wanted to show this diagram so you could get examples see exactly what it is whenever the bike is stationary. This is actually how you need to set it up to ensure that you don't have problems down the road and have to go to a doctor or a hospital. So if you look I can barely touch the ground. And you say, that's not proper. Well, yes it is. In actuality, when you stop, you should do this. Lean it over and hold it up like this, or simply move forward. And then you can balance yourself and balance the back with your legs. You simply put your heel back here to back. This leg needs to be almost totally straight with a slight bend with your heel on the pedal because when you pedal you'll be pedaling right here so you won't be pedaling with your heel so when you do that and if you have the cushion seat you got to compensate for that so you can move it up incrementally until you get the proper height for to be set correctly which is put your heel back here to the back and then you're looking for a slight bend. Now when you're pedaling, you don't want to be going like this, pivoting off of your seat because then that adds to the uncomfort. What you're looking for is to stay with your legs to stay almost straight and you, with a slight bend. So what you're looking for is something similar to this when you're in the riding position. 
So once you do that, then your seat is set correctly. And you won't have to worry about going to the hospital for potential damage. Get your seat set correctly and give it a try and you'll see the comfort level go way up. And guys, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and see you on the next one.